Penn seems pretty intimidating when you first apply. You have this mentality that all these really top tier programs are super competitive and super cutthroat, but Penn is not that at all. The medical school at the University of Pennsylvania is the oldest medical school in the country. Penn has been at the lead of medical research for decades. The pharmacology graduate group draws faculty from a number of different disciplines and departments across the University of Pennsylvania. Penn is a leader in translational research, and it's one of our focuses. I think I want to be an academic research faculty member on a tenure track, but I'm not quite sure. It's really important that if I end up deciding I don't want to, that my program isn't going to limit my career options for that. Our type of a program really gives students who may not be completely sure of what they want to study the opportunity to test out different types of experiments and different lab dynamics. You have people like Carl June leading immunotherapy, you have leaders in vaccine development, but you can take courses at a fantastic business school, law school, it's not a standalone research institution. Students go on to positions in academia, in big pharma, in small biotech. They do a lot of consulting and not small companies, McKinsey and Boston Consulting. We've never had a single PhD student go unemployed. I like recognizing where science fits into the bigger picture of society as a whole. It's like a really rewarding part of science to see the direct implications, to see it go through all the clinical trials and have something be approved. It's pretty monumental being there. There's so much work being done and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen next. I mean, this is beyond just pipetting and working at a lab bench. The progress that faculty and students have made here towards bettering human health is pretty amazing. As a Hispanic person, raised in Puerto Rico, it was important to me to not feel as isolated in a new place. And there was definitely that at Penn. You need to be in a place that will make you feel happy. I joined this volleyball league, it's just like really fun network group of young people that were totally unrelated to science. I think that Philly has a lot of things like that. Being at Penn, you get to interact with the people of Philadelphia within the School of Medicine. They have been doing a lot to bridge the public and scientists, which I think is like really great. One of the joys of being a mentor in this program is the ability to come and work with these incredibly bright people every day. It actually keeps me young. We don't just want the students to do experiments. We want them to enjoy science and in that way sort of be very productive in whatever career they decide to go into.